Hey, beautiful souls. Today, we will be talking about protecting your heart health. I will go over what cardiovascular disease is and the benefits of having a healthy heart, what negative behaviors can lead to poor heart health, and I will also give you some tips for managing your heart health. Our health always seems a lot more valuable after we lose it. The deadliest disease in the world is coronary artery disease, aka heart disease. When I was going through my holistic nutritionist certification, I kept learning that even though heart disease kills the most people, it's also the easiest chronic disease to prevent. An estimated 80% of cardiovascular diseases, including heart disease and stroke, are preventable, but cardiovascular disease remains the number one killer and the most profitable disease, costing nearly $1 billion per day. A study by the American Heart Association projected that by 2035, that profit will rise to $1 trillion in health management costs. Heart disease develops when plaque clogs the arteries and blood vessels that lead to the heart. This blocks important nutrients and oxygen from reaching the heart, which causes stroke, heart attacks, or death. The important thing to know is that the plaque that builds up in the arteries is caused by foods high in cholesterol and fat molecules. This means avoiding unhealthy foods like fried foods, fast foods, and other fatty foods, and eating whole foods instead like fruits and vegetables that have fiber to clean your arteries and can prevent them from clogging up. Making healthy lifestyle changes can help you live a long and healthy life. Having a healthy heart means you will improve your overall health from being able to participate in physical activities and have high energy levels throughout the day. You will reduce your feelings of depression and, of course, having normal blood pressure and heart rate are also benefits. Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. Jim Ron. Smoking and vaping are the quickest way to damage your heart health. Smoking cigarettes isn't as popular as it was 50 years ago, but vaping has made the unhealthy habit of smoking emerge again. Vaping still contains nicotine, which is highly addictive and harmful to the cardiovascular system. It raises blood pressure and adrenaline, which increases your heart rate and your chances of having a heart attack. Dining out every day can cause you to double or triple your calorie intake, leading to obesity, which is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Restaurants exceed healthy amounts of oils, sugar, or salt in their food, which can negatively impact your health. And if you're only eating fried foods or foods with red meat when you go out, that can make things much worse. The American Heart Association has listed processed meats and red meat as group one carcinogens, meaning that they increase your risk of cancer and cardiovascular disease because they contain high levels of cholesterol, which can harden your arteries and lead to a heart attack, stroke, or death. Living a sedentary lifestyle can also increase your risk of heart conditions. When your body is not active, your heart doesn't have to work as hard to pump blood through your body. Staying active speeds up your heart rate and makes your heart muscle stronger so that it pumps more effectively, which can reduce blood stagnation that can lead to fatty material buildup in your arteries. Not getting enough sleep is another way to negatively impact your heart. Sleep deprivation can lead to high cortisol and adrenaline levels, which strain the heart. Getting enough sleep allows your cardiovascular system to rest. Your heart rate and blood pressure drop during non-REM sleep and then rise and fall during REM sleep, which promotes cardiovascular health. The most important factor is not managing your stress levels. 
Stress can lead you to do all of the negative behaviors I just mentioned, like smoking, eating unhealthy, being inactive, and negatively impacting your sleep patterns. So it's important to manage your stress by remembering to take breaks and unwind from your daily life. Prioritize your self-care and connect with people who have a positive impact on your life and don't add to your stress. Eat healthier foods. As I mentioned earlier, diet is the number one cause of heart disease. Your health starts from the inside out and then everything else falls into place. Limit your consumption of fried foods, processed foods, and animal products. One of my favorite plant-based doctors is Dr. Michael Greger. He came out with an app called The Daily Dozen that lets you track your plant-based intake to make sure you're getting enough nutrients from whole foods from the earth. Water, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, seeds, and nuts should be the majority of your food intake. Then everything else should be limited or avoided. When I first went plant-based, this app really helped me include different types of fruits and vegetables to stay healthy and get all the vitamins and nutrients I needed naturally. So I hope it helps you too. Manage your digital well-being. If you want to get in the habit of having a consistent sleep schedule, then you will need to prioritize the time you go to sleep and the time you wake up. The best way to do this is to set a bedtime mode on your phone. Mine is automatically installed in my settings, but if your phone doesn't have a bedtime mode, you can easily use the Do Not Disturb feature, which everyone has. Schedule the do not disturb feature one hour before you have to get ready for bed so you can focus on turning down for the night and quieting your mind. Then in the morning, if you also have a hard time waking up, you can download an app called Alarmy, which allows you to choose what they call missions you have to complete before the alarm can be disabled. You can choose from memory problems, math problems, exercise challenges, or take a photo of a barcode. Then once that is completed, you can turn the alarm off. So no more snoozing your alarm multiple times. Download a free fitness app for at-home workouts. Calisthenics is the best way to get in shape because you're using your own body weight. Being able to pick up heavy dumbbells is great, but being able to lift your whole body weight in a push-up or a jump squat is a different type of strength and control that will lead to amazing results. Calisthenic exercises are used by the military, police forces, and professional athletes to gain muscle and build endurance. I'll link some of my favorite workout apps in the description below. Yoga is also another form of exercise that requires no equipment and you can do it from the comfort of your home to stay active, build strength, and lose weight in the process. I have multiple playlists for the upper body and lower body and beginner poses as well that you can try, which I will also link down below. Thank you for watching. I hope this information is useful to you. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more holistic living tips.